Hey guys, get ready for another super slick trick. All righty, Argo lovers. Yesterday we did a little uh, maintenance on the Argo. We actually changed the oil on the filter, greased her up and lubed her up. And uh, we learned a few things there yesterday we thought we'd share with y'all. And uh, maybe next time I do it again, I might watch my own video. I looked all, yeah, high and low yesterday trying to find my owner's manual. I never could find it there. It probably went in the trash, but I did find it today. So we're going to review the uh, manual as well there at the end. And, uh, maybe that would give us a slick trick there for the next oil change. We are definitely trying to figure out how to get some light on the scene there so we can show you all the oil filter. You can see the oil filter under there. And you can see the uh, square drain plug there. Take a uh, ratchet extension stick in it. And that's how you drain the oil. And, uh, you know, this is a uh, bucket there, so oil will run everywhere. I think the next time I do it, I'll uh, have the right side of the machine lifted up a little bit so the oil will run over here. We did put a bucket on there, but it didn't really run into the bucket very good. It just ran over to the bottom of the machine. But you can see there's the uh, oil filter. And underneath it, there's the oil drain plug there. We do have all the uh, deck plates pulled up there. So you can see what this baby looks like. We also did add a uh, max board. On the seat there, so our little dog Max would quit ending up in the back seat back here. We took a uh, one by six and some three quarter pipe straps, cut our little board at an angle over here by the uh, gas fill line there. And so now Max can ride comfortably without ending up in the back seat all the time. We uh, did have a lot of issues with our governor being too low on this baby. We were uh, not getting enough RPMs out of it. So we did uh, turn our governor up a little bit. And we did that by uh, loosening this nut right here, holding this steady, and then we turned that counterclockwise just a tad bit there. You can see where we had it marked to begin with. We uh, either were idling too high and we couldn't shift gears, or then we got, when we dropped the idle down so much, we wasn't getting 3,600 RPMs at full throttle, so. We turned that just a tad, and so now it's perfect. It's idling at about 900 RPMs, and we are getting that full 3,600 at full throttle. Oh, and another thing I wanted to point out is our parking brake wasn't working very good, and that's how you, your parking brake sets itself there, so we, uh, Tighten up our cable there. And got our brake to where to actually hold the thing back on the heel there. So uh, here you can see we found our owner's manual. And these are for the models there. The 29 series, the 30 series, the 35, and the 3800 series. 
Got a lot of cool pictures. We'll scroll over the pictures here. Maybe this will help somebody out there. If you do need to look at the uh, one of the photos there, you know, you can always pause the video and check it out there. most important thing is on the uh, what type of oils to use and stuff or at what temperature range and there's a little table of comment that the uh, Show you what's what there, G, the oil filter, the H, the oil drain plug, and on down the list. But here's the main thing here, I'll tell you what the model number is, how much oil it holds. That's for the uh, 29 and the 3000 series. There's for the uh, 3500 series. There's for the 3800 series. There's some good service parts there, numbers there, oil filters and the air filters. So there you are if you can't find your uh, service manual there. Like us, sir, we, uh, we can never find it when we need it. We always find it a day later, but that's the big Argo machine. That's our uh, super slick trick tips for today. We hope somebody uh, used the information there. Y'all, thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you on the other side.